Hi guys, Lord of Pontel here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. In this video we're going to be looking at the second of the S4 heroes. So let's have a look at who we're looking at today. And it's going to be the second of the S4 footman hero, it's Soaring Hawk. So what has he got here? Well, as it says, footman hero, defense. This hero excels at taking punishment suitable for front row squads. I would definitely agree with that in this um, for this in this instance, um, I would only put Soaring Hawk on the front row in your Footman Legion, guys. And let's look at his skills. What has he got packing? Of course, skill one is Dictator, 23,100 extra marching capacity for the Hero Squad. Second skill, Contempt, is a combat skill, funnily enough, for a front row hero. Its effective range is three, so that's nice. It can hit any of the opponent's three squads in their formation, and it will target two of those squads. There's a, now it's a chance skill, unfortunately, so it's a 40% chance to deal between 76% and 179% damage. Uh, so it's not a lot of damage, which is kind of expected from a footman hero anyway. And it will do damage to two random enemy squads within range. And then it has a debuffing element to it as well, making their might between minus 20 and 38%, lasting two turns. So that's a nice... Um, so that's where the kind of defensive element becomes in. You're reducing the might of your opponent, making their attacks weaker. So that's a, that's a nice element. 40% chance, not great, but it's only it will last two turns with this. Uh, well, the suppression part of it, reducing the might, that will last for two turns. So that's nice. Or well, the debuff, sorry, not suppression. Skills three and four are, as usual, the defensive formation, increasing your troops resistance but from 5% to 50% in the hero squad and then offensive formation skill 4 for the hero squad increasing the might by 5 to 50% fifth skill cavalry raid this is a status skill so this is one of these valuable skills that is going to be active throughout the battle it's guaranteed effective range is zero because it's affecting his squad and that is the one random friendly squad what's it going to do it's going to give Hero Squad has a 100% chance to counter-attack when basic attacked, dealing between 57% and 120% damage. So yet again, this is another skill uh, that is guaranteed to activate every single turn of the battle, similar to Desert Storm's Ape skill that we just looked at. It's the same kind of wording, it's a status skill, and it's a 100% chance, guys. Doing some more damage to your opponent as well, so that's good. And then onto the sixth skill, Awaken, as usual, 250% extra bonus to the leadership skills. And as you'd expect for a defensive um, hero, he's got he's going to give you an extra 15% resistance on your here on the troops squad, and it's going to give an extra 15% HP as well. So they're going to survive longer. So that's two nice buffs there. And he has the defensive order for his seventh skill, which gives between 13% and 40% resistance again increases the amount of damage that all of the troops in your legion can take again this is quite you know this is one of the common elements of a footman legion because they are designed to be defensive onto his eighth skill iron guard of the sand it's a prep skill um so it's likely again that it well it will prep before the start of the battle so again it's a really good skill that is going to be activated and its effective range is two and this is uh, the target is three random friendly squads within effective range. So this has an impact on all of the squads in your formation. And the first two turns, all friendly squads will um, take minus 12%, between 12% and 30% damage. So that's guaranteed on the first two turns for a quarter of the battle effectively that you're protecting your troops a bit more up to 30% less damage. And then after that, after turn three, sorry, the hero squad recovers 30% units when dealing damage. So again, this is a guaranteed recovery skill, um, healing skill, which is going to recover 30% units. Now, this isn't as high a number as you'll see in SX heroes, but still being able to heal your troops um, makes it incredibly difficult for you to actually have the um, legion or any squad in the legion collapse. Um, which means that you're more likely to reach the end of the battle. And if you're against an opponent who doesn't have this recovery function, then you've got a good chance of um, winning the battle. So those are all of Soaring Court's skills. And let's have a look at him in action. 
So one of my opponents this week in Heroes Duel from my own state did have Soaring Hawk. I'm going into messages. And is it this one? Yes, it is. And she did beat me. It was Footman against Footman. And she has Soaring Hawk with all eight skills unlocked. So this is the start of the battle. And Soaring Hawks activated his prep skill and the status skill. So immediately, you'll notice that when my troops attack, once they return, there you go. Do you see the minus 933? That is, that is the troops counter-attacking. Again, minus 933. Um, that is that skill with the counter-attack element, skill 5, occurring. And for the, these first two turns, again, because of that, um, because of the skill, um, it's giving me um, less damage as well for these first two turns. So not only am I getting less damage, but I'm actually impacting more damage on the opponent, uh, which in this case, I'm the opponent, uh, but with Soaring Hawk. And then... Now, you're going to see that there is Bleeding Steed in this in this formation as well. And Bleeding Steed's ape skill can provide healing as well. So you might see in some of these turns that there's double amount of, um, double amount of healing. So we're going to speed it up a little bit. That's it. And as you can see now, we're getting healing when they're basic attacked. The other annoying thing about this uh, battle is that there's two uh, Jade Rakshasas and they have this Lotus skill which causes six attacks, which kind of slows down the video a bit. And you'll notice actually that when that attack happens because the troops kind of do a different attacking animation to the side compared to their normal basic attack. But as you can see, each time the troops are attacking for the opponent, there we go, minus 366. And there's quite a lot of recovery happening in this legion here that has Soaring Hawk and Bleeding Steed. Um, you'll probably, and you'll notice in terms of combinations that you want to use Soaring Hawk in, well, um, this combination is okay. It's not one of the top combinations. Really, you want to have Desert Storm on that back row instead of um, Jade Rakshasa. That would be uh, the kind of primary combination that you're looking for. Um, when you're in S3, S4, so it'll be Soaring Hawk, Bleeding, and then um, Desert Storm. After that, um, then you can use Soaring Hawk with a couple of combinations of SX Heroes um, slash Bleeding Steed. So you can use um, Soaring Hawk with Skander, SX4 Hero, and Valkyrie, um, SX3 Hero on the back row. And you can also use um, Soaring Hawk with Skander again, and then with Bleeding Steed on the back row, because Bleeding Steed as uh, one of these kind of flexible heroes similar to uh, Rosen in Cavalry that they can go on any three of the rows in various combinations. So there's a few combinations that you can use use him with. Um, in terms of how end game is he, well, any of the... Bleeding Steed can go on the front row in a couple of combinations with SX heroes, and that's going to be stronger than what you're going to see with Soaring Hawk. And um, you also find that potentially uh, Dragon's Avatar and Dachi, um, SX1 and SX2 um, footman heroes, they would also be stronger than him in certain combinations as well. So he's probably the fourth strongest front row hero for footman depending on how you use him but it, at season four in the game when you don't have a, well you don't have access to uh, the heroes then he's going to definitely be 
a good hero to pick up, uh, particularly if you get him in awards with a, with a duplicate. Um, you know, he is a, he's still a good good hero. If you can pick up him and use him, as I say, with Bling Steed and Desert Storm, that's still a pretty strong combination, I have to say. Uh, in terms of unlocking which skills first, well, as a front row hero, you really do want to unlock skill six, the awakened skill first, because you then get the extra bonus for the leadership skills to get your troop count up. You absolutely must have the maximum amount of troops on your front row. Uh, then, of course, as usual, I would suggest going with this ape skill. Being a prep skill, it has this, uh, you know, it's activating and being prevalent in the battle all the time, um, recovering you know, recovering units in all three squads. Um, sorry, reducing damage in uh, all three squads for that first couple of turns and then um, healing in that front row squad every turn. Uh, it makes your it makes your formation very difficult to beat. Definitely, uh, it's very difficult to get that front row formation to collapse if you've got Soaring Hawk there. Um, so, yeah, I would say six skill first, then eight skill, then seventh skill. So there we go, guys. That is all the info that I can give you today on Soaring Hawk. So that is the second of the S4 heroes. And uh, next up, we are going to be on to the only cavalry hero for S4, which is the Brave. Um, so we'll be looking at him next time. Um, and he's got some very interesting, cool skills as well, particularly his eighth skill um, that does quite a lot of different elements. It's one of the, in fact, I think it does more different things than any other skill in the game. So it's going to be interesting to have a look at him. Of course, if you have any questions about what I've covered today in this video, please pop it in the comments section below. And if you have any other uh, questions or comments about the game or the channel in general, feel free to leave your comments there, guys. Um, I would really love it and appreciate it if you could uh, click that subscribe button and ring the bell if you haven't already. And please do feel free to share my channel in your Alliance Chats, Province Chats, on Facebook, WhatsApp, Discord line, wherever you chat, whatever you use to talk about in the game, that would be absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.